Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. I really hate painting and that's probably because I'm terrible at it. So I want to have a go at spraying. Now I've been inspired by Peter Millard from 10 Minute Workshop spraying series and his spray booth he made. So I'm going to make something very similar to what he did. I'll put a link down below to his video if you want to watch how he did it. But I'm going to make a few changes on mine. First I'm going to make a basic frame. I'm going to make two exactly the same. And as you saw, I started by ripping the material in half, just so I can get twice as much out of it. And then I'm going to put some supporting pieces in between. This can then all get screwed together. I'm now going to cover it with some of this plastic corrugated sheet. Peter used something very similar and I thought it was a good idea because it's so very cheap and it's easy to wipe clean. I just line it up with the corners of the frame I've made and then get it held in place with a few staples. I get this stapled onto both the frames and then when that's done I can stand it up and run a knife round trimming off the excess. This stuff is extremely easy to cut and cuts through with a single pass. Now with both frames done I can stack them up on top of each other with both the plastic bits touching and then I'm going to stick a couple of hinges on. I haven't got room for a spray booth to be set up permanently so I want this to be able to collapse down and be stored away. So where the hinge is, there's a slight gap, so I'm just going to run a few lengths of this black tape to cover it. Now I want to knock up two more frames, and these are to go on either end, so they're going to be as tall as the unit and as wide as it. And with two of them made, I can then get them sheathed in the plastic in exactly the same way. I want to be able to attach the end panels and then take them off again for storage. So I'm using my downing machine to drill some holes along the base and up the back. I can then open the two first panels up, put the side on, get it clamped into place and then drill through the holes in the side into the frame. With that done on both ends, I take the end panels off and I glue in some dowels. These are some oak dowels and they're going to go all the way through the side pieces and then stick out the other side. One last thing just to make it easier to store is I'm going to put a little latch to keep it closed. This will just stop it flopping open when I'm storing it or I'm moving it around. And that's the build done. Now it's just a question of testing it out. I've set up these Axminster saw horses outside to put it on. But it will fit on my workbench in the workshop, or it can just go on the floor outside. So in theory, you just lift it up, and then these pegs slot in on the ends. I have to say, the first time doing it was a little tricky, and everything was a little tight. But I have set it up a few times after that, and it's been much easier. I didn't want to bash it in with a hammer, so I just used a clamp to pull everything tight. But after doing this the first time, it all just slid together after that. Now I have a way of spraying small pieces without getting paint absolutely everywhere. It worked really well, collecting all the overspray, and then folds up nicely and goes against the wall. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and please subscribe for more videos.